Rape. Atlanta police are on the scene of a triple shoot shooting. Five. Neighbors in Atlanta's Castleberry Hill neighborhood heard the gunfire around 7.30 Saturday night. They say a teenager and a man in his 20s were both shot in the leg. The third, 26-year-old Donovan Thomas, was critical. Had the significant injury. We had uh, at least multiple gunshots in the upper uh, torso area. He was rushed to surgery. Thomas died at the hospital. Homicide detect telling us he was, quote, first a family man and a man of the community. He was caring and always looked out for anyone he came into contact with. He will surely be missed in my life. Police believe the three, two adult men and a 14-year-old were triple shooting outside this barbershop and did the life six-year-old Donovan Thomas. The indictment also tied the rapper to the of Donovan Thomas. This is video from court of Young Thug in a blue jumpsuit. January 10th, 2015. A terrible tragedy was about to shake the streets of Atlanta. One of the most respected figures of the underworld would lose his life in a brazen attack fueled by gang rivalry. His name? Donovan Thomas, better known to those with gang ties as Big Nut, also known as OG Nut or Peanut. January 5th, 2015. Gang rivalry overflowed into a collision between two camps that began the clock ticking down to Big Nut's ultimate demise that would take place just five days later. The two gangs in question were the Inglewood family known shortly as IF and Young Slime Life known shortly as YSL. Donovan Thomas, also known as Big Nut, was rumored to be a high-ranking member of the Inglewood family street gang while famous A-list rapper Jeffrey Williams, also known as Young Thug, is labeled to be one of the founding members of the YSL gang. On that day, January 5th, IF gang member Kelvin Watts attempted to rob YSL gang member Kenneth Copeland at Club Crucial. Atlanta Police Department gang unit investigators at the time believed what was widely speculated that this altercation at the club incited the beef that boiled over days later, ending the life of Big Nut on January 10th, 2015. Big Nut was oblivious to the timer ticking down on his life. In fact, who many considered a figurehead throughout the city of Atlanta, had a friend and rapper he was at the time pushing to the world. His name was Rayshon Bennett, known to the hip hop community as YFN Lucci, from the crew, Young Fly N-Word. How about Dow, man? Get with it, get rolled over, man. This is your nut, man. I'm letting you know it, Shannon. <laughs> Sadly, Big Nut's enemies were in the shadows, plotting on ending his life. Aside from the altercation between the two camps, tension was brewing, and there still lies speculation that other events were at play that ended in a price being placed on Nut's head. On one theory, it was rumored Nut broke a sacred code of ethics in the gang culture and was talking to law enforcement about his rivals, YSL, affiliates of Money Murder Gang. On the other end was a financial motive that police documents reveal could have added more fuel to the already blazing fire between the two camps. At the time, Peanut was the manager of the rapper DeQuantis Lamar, better known as Rich Homie Quan. Documents go on to state that YSL co-founder Young Thug was requesting a collaboration with the rapper, but not only did Rich Homie Quan and Peanut not approve, but Peanut took a stand against it when Young Thug and his YSL affiliates tried to use intimidation and fool to change his mind. It was at that moment Peanut understood the gravity of who he was facing, and as recounted by family members, he became fearful that his life would be targeted. His fears were right. On January 3rd, 2015, seven days before his demise, YSL member Young Thug and Demikion Carlington, also known as D or Sarfax, sent a chilling message of things to come. On D's Instagram account, both were seen in a picture with the caption reading, we ain't going back and forth. It was already decided by YSL that the time for talking was over and action was the next required step. 
January 7th, three days before Peanut's assassination, the transport to do the crime was rented by a young thug, a 2014 Silver Infinity Q50 sedan from Hertz rent a car. The days were counting down, and so was the lifespan of Donovan Thomas, also known as Peanut. Hours away from losing his life, young thug and his YSL associates put a plan into motion. January 10th, 2015, Jeffrey Williams, aka Young Thug, was in the infinity he rented just a few days earlier when he spotted Thomas standing outside of a barbershop on 330 McDaniel Street in Atlanta. Thug was also with Garlington, aka D, Shannon Jackson, aka Shannon Stilwell, aka SB, Demonte Kendrick, aka Yak Gotti, Demise McMullen, aka Nard, and Justin Cobb, aka Duwop. According to police documents and testaments from a key witness at the scene involved in the crime, Young Thug loaned the car to his YSL affiliates to carry out the hit on Peanut. At approximately 7.22 p.m., the shooter who was said to be Jackson, aka SB, shot Peanut dead as he stood in the parking lot of the barbershop. The shots came from a motor vehicle, the same one that was rented and loaned to him and his other assailants by YSL co-founder Young Thug. Peanut was hit multiple times on the upper area of his body and began the fight for his life while two others, one being a teenager, was injured in the attack. He was rushed to the nearest hospital where doctors attempted to save his life, but unfortunately, he succumbed to his injuries. Police officers believed Peanut wasn't a random passerby but specifically targeted and assassinated. His passing sent a wave of emotions through the city of Atlanta. Some angry, others hurt, and some, like his rivals, were celebrating and making a mockery of his passing. The words slat were later spray painted on his tomb, and it wasn't a secret who the street terminology belonged to. Young Thug publicized the use of the term and it is a regular term that is a part of how he talks. Slay. 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 Young Thug even has a track titled Slatty on his album Slime Language 2, featuring one of his assailants that was involved in taking out Peanut, Yak Gotti. Investigators began on the manhunt to gather evidence that would lead to the arrest of the perpetrators, not only to bring justice for the crime, but also the time was now counting down on a wave of retaliation they knew was coming. The investigation led to numerous first-hand accounts of what happened, and all pointed to Young Thug and YSL being the ones responsible for the brazen attack. Peanut's brother, who stood near him at the time of his passing, recalled Peanut whispering the haunting last words, Thug had me killed. Further investigations led to officers obtaining a key witness involved in the incident, Kenneth Copeland, aka Little Woody. Woody first denied all allegations and speculations that he was involved in the hit, but six months later after a series of attempts on his own life by his rivals and issues with the law, Woody came clean. The revelation was a smoking gun for the case. According to Woody, he admitted to lead detective Jim Thorpe that he saw Jackson, aka SB, at a McDonald's parking lot with fellow gang member Yak Gotti. Demise McCullen, aka Nard, and Justin Combs, aka Duwop, immediately after the hit on Peanut's life. He further went on to state that at the same time, fellow YSL gang member Demikion Garlington, aka D, told him that SB, Yak Gotti, Nard, and Duwop had just murdered Peanut. Woody was the one tasked with picking up the other members of YSL involved in the homicide at the McDonald's location. Upon entering the vehicle, Garlington aka D went on to confirm to him that they murdered Peanut during a drive-by shooting in which they used the Silver Infinity rented by YSL co-founder Young Thug. The hit set off a series of events, events that led to a bloodbath throughout the city claiming lives and fueling a gang rivalry that still continues today. Peanut's close friend, YFN Lucy, has been locked in a wild back and forth with YSL 
and Young Thug ever since. In May 2019, this nearly resulted in YFN Lucy suffering the same fate as his friend Peanut when his Mercedes SUV was targeted in Atlanta. Popular entertainment website TMZ reports that Lucy wasn't there at the time, but police officers found a man suffering from two gunshot wounds, and Lucy's mother was the registered owner of his vehicle. In a clip obtained by TMZ showing just how intent his assailants were on claiming his life, bullet holes can be seen all through the vehicle. Then again, in June 2020, YFN Lucy was targeted at his music video at the 600 block of Martin Street. Three assailants fire injuring someone in the thumb. Both YFN Lucy and Young Thug, however, are now fighting for their freedom after both were indicted on separate RICO charges. YFN Lucy is facing a murder charge and Young Thug and his YSL gang members were indicted for criminal activity inclusive of the ones responsible for Donovan Thomas, also known as Peanut, losing his life. This is video from court of Young Thug in a blue jumpsuit. The rapper and 28 other defendants charged in a 56 count indictment. George, this investigation has been going on for months and take a look at this. This is that 88 page indictment, 56 charges ranging from murder. Nine of Young Thug's songs used as evidence. The indictment saying these words used after the murder of Donovan Thomas, the leader of a rival gang. One of the people charged with his death, a member of Thug's YSL label. Peanut's passing was a tragedy, one seen far too often in communities ruined by the gang culture. May he rest in peace along with all those who have fallen to the senseless gang rivalry. May he rest in peace.